a little leak. Yes. Oh, no, a little Tyler. teaser. A little I'm teaser sorry. of that. I'm sorry. You're going to see these guys in game and combating a ranger. Ooh, it's going to be fun. Damage, AoE, and also the targets. At the same time, we still have abilities like airstrike and, you know, other things that we're, we haven't even shown yet that are going to be more action oriented. So we can. How's it going everybody? Welcome back to another Ashes of Creation video. Um, today I'd like to uh, recap and just go over a little bit of what we saw during the September live stream. Now, originally I was going to try and uh, do a little summary of all the notable points from the whole entire stream, but I just, I just can't get off work on time and uh, do the overtime that we're doing. I just don't have enough time to record and edit. Um, so pretty much I just wanted to go over the core part of the stream that, you know, obviously was why we were all there and what was the most important was uh, getting a little bit of a showcase with the Ranger and then also getting to, um, you know, see hands on with those abilities and that short and longbow range combat. Now, I just want to go ahead and say right off the bat, I think the stream was uh, super solid, very successful. We saw a lot of things for the first time during this stream that we haven't seen before. So another major thing that I really, really want to highlight is, you know, Steven has talked about how um, core systems make the game fun, but graphics make that fun and that experience even more enjoyable. So you can see right like on display here, it, this is fantastically beautiful. You get light rays coming in. We're getting a flare or, or a, a solar, you know, uh, lens flare. Um, he's saying that the seasonal weather tech is in effect. So because it's early morning, you have this sort of like fog rolling in. And then he's also saying because it's spring, we have pollen in the air. Um, I know it says 135 or 113 p.m. in the top right, but Steven in the stream says that it's early morning. So I, that's just kind of funny. The clock's, you know, probably not tuned at all. Um, but it, the Mistlands looks fantastic. And and we're not even seeing, you know, like, you, you look at any of the concept arts of the wallpapers section on the, on the website. Um, I, I'm just... I'm going to be blown away. I already know I'm going to be blown away seeing like underwater docks, uh, islands, um, different towns, volcano, you know, the, this desert biome, like the cities, like walking through these densely populated areas uh, that have just so much, you know, uh, character and stuff. I'm so excited to see that. This just really shows like all these systems off in one go also all the ambient stuff flying around the birds that react when you get near them look at look at that ability that was insane um so just i think all across the board intrepid is really hitting that high bar of quality that you know they really have been pushing for for a long time and even and the fact that this isn't even in a finished state uh, is mind blowing to me. I mean, this is this is so good looking. Um, I cannot wait to see where where we go in the next few months. Um, another thing that was showed off was the in-game models of the Minotaurs. So this is one of the uh, the Minotaur rain callers, basically like a shaman uh, class archetype of the Minotaurs. And the devs go on to explain that. You know, there's bigger and 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 more brawly uh, guys out there too. This isn't even as as detailed or big and, and strong as they get. And just look at the detail. I mean, maybe New World's uh, mobs are are that detailed. I don't I don't know any other MMO that has uh, you know NPCs this detailed. So I I think that um, goes a long way. You know for the immersion of, of this game and and feeling like you're fighting like really, you know, concrete like creatures that exist and live in this world. Um, and now they're, they're kind of showcasing that uh, vertical tower in the back that's gonna be the dungeon. Um, I don't wanna say the name in case it's wrong, Carfin. 
something something along those lines <clears throat> another thing that this this whole stream and and showcase uh really kind of showed me was that the ui is coming together really nicely we're making good progress on the ui you can see all these things coming together in the background getting updated getting you know a second pass a third pass a fourth pass you can see that the quality of existing ai uh, npcs or, or creatures and monsters in the world um, we see the hybrid uh, combat system and how a fluid um, we see reactive environment we see the weather um, system in full effect with the seasonal system um, and and those you know running in tandem we see the animation how crisp that animation is and and probably how many rigs and setups they have to do to get these you know each race moving so fluidly and stuff like that um to me this was uh such a solid stream i think it speaks miles to their confidence of of where their quality bar is at i mean this is this could be a finished game i mean it already looks better than games that have that have been out and that are out obviously you know it just this was a really <laughs> i just realized he's clipping into the wall there on the left he's literally in the rock <laughs> um but uh yeah this one really kind of just the animations of the character the uh spell and ability effects of the actual abilities the um all the systems running at the same time the lighting all the dynamic shadowing and everything it's just this was to me a, a huge w and um I'm, I'm just only more infinitely excited for alpha 2. you can tell during this uh showcase that steven's most likely playing this for the first time He's, he's being surprised, he's being rushed by uh, the Minotaurs. He's seeing these effects, these spells, he's asking questions about, oh, what, what was that that he just, uh, you know, casted at me? And, and the designers are explaining it. So that's really cool, um, you know, that he's kind of testing this stuff live and we're getting his kind of, you know, first look at it um, as well. And you could tell by, you know, after like 10 minutes of running around and shooting things, he's got the hang of it and, and Steven's playing pretty, uh, flawlessly seamlessly like we're getting to see all the abilities and stuff like that it looks so good one thing i didn't mention um that i really really wanted to highlight also was the sound design the sounds of everything oh sounds so good i, I don't really I'm, I'm just gonna leave this muted because there's so much talking over all of it but um also very excited for the future with just ability um noises and sounds I think with a little bit of tweaking and adjusting, uh, maybe just some volumes and, and maybe making little nuances so that uh, some of the sounds a little bit different, um, which I'm sure they will be with other uh, abilities and, and other classes and stuff like that. I think we're in good hands. Everything, everything looks, sounds, <clears throat> and visually, from what I can visually feel, looks super good. <clears throat> um, so yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. I, I pretty much answered Steven's question and gave my feedback all here. Um, that's really like the bulk of what I wanted to cover. I, I, I think progress is moving along really well. Um, oh, they also mentioned skill trees based on your weapon that you're using, like your weapon class or so. So if you're using the short bow, you can spec differently on your short bow and then spec completely differently in your long bow for like different combat, different uses. So I think that's really cool. And, um, you know, something that we could totally talk about in a future video. If there's anything you guys want me to go more in depth on, uh, please leave down in the comments. And it, it could be something that was featured recently, or it could be something completely different. Like, hey, I'm just interested in seeing, you know, caravans i want to know more about the caravan system or maybe you want to uh 
see other NPCs in a certain part of the world based off of the uh, monthly cosmetic packs. And so those are all real world, you know, things being developed in the game. I don't know. If you guys want to see anything specific, please uh, leave it down in the, down in the comments below. Um, I'm more than willing to, uh, you know, I'll, I'll continue making content on, on the stuff that is popping up that's relevant. But if anyone's interested in anything specific, I would love to cover it for you guys and uh, use that as kind of like a double inspiration because a lot of people are covering the same things and I don't want to just, uh, I don't want to put out meaningless like regurgitated duplicates of videos that everyone else is doing. Um, I'm going to try and keep it as as passionate towards the things I want to talk about as, as much as I can. But if you guys want me to cover stuff, then that's more than enough reason to cover specific things and, and give my own take and my own thoughts and explain it the way that I would. I want to thank you guys for watching the video. Uh, I think we're heading in, in a really good place. I'm so excited for Alpha 2. Um, at this point, it's just like a month to month thing and, and <laughs> hopefully next year uh, is, is going to be the year for Alpha 2. Which I, I don't see how they could, you know, delay it any further than beyond next year. So I think we're in decent hands, but that's all just me speculating. I'll stop rambling here. Have a good uh, evening or morning, depending on where you're at. Take care, guys. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Kitty wants to end the video with me. Say goodbye to all the peoples. So cute, likes to jump up and sit with me while I'm editing.